Up on my shawty, then you know that she be gone. So, trust the Cali out in Valley, smoking on the strong. Yeah, you know them. Damn, Gina, we're back at it again with another Air Jordan 1 Soul Swab. What's up, bro? What are you tweet texting? Anyways, we're gonna be using the Metallic Low as our donor. Yo, son, check this out. So, on the left shoe, the Wings logo is gone. I don't know, that boy just left. So now we're gonna remove the uppers from the rubber sole and we won't really need this exacto knife just yet but we will save it for later. So to remove the threading safely we're gonna look inside of the shoe, see where it ends so where the extra thread is, we're gonna use a small tool to pry out the threading and just pull it one by one. Is it me y'all or th does this shoe have hella cake in the back like check that out. Since we're pressed for time I'm just gonna use my fingers to remove the soles. Alright y'all, I just want to show you guys that my whitening method also works on white insoles if you want to make them coke white again. These haven't seen a cleaner since 1994, so it's been 22 years since then. Alright, so this is what you do man to remove the donors. We just follow the same steps that we've used on the, orig on the 94 ones. Put acetone in that shoe, you know what I'm saying? Let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then like use like a screwdriver or something to like, to get that upper out. Um, right here, I just used like a baby screwdriver. I don't know, I forgot what it was called, but that's what I used. Now it's time to remove the factory adhesive that's still left on the uppers. What we're gonna use is just scotch tape heat gun, acetone, and cotton balls. You could also use a Dremel tool to make it easier for yourself. You see me do this all the time with my swaps. It's because that if we don't remove the factory adhesive, man, like it's gonna affect our re-glue and it's not gonna bond the way we want it to. It's gonna separate just like that, you know what I mean? So by removing this, we're eliminating, eliminating the risk that there will be separation because all we're doing is making sure that the adhesive is making contact with just the leather. If the factor adhesive is still there, then it's making contact with the factor adhesive, which it, which is brittle and it's gonna separate on the uppers. So that's why we remove it. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the uppers to our new donors. We don't want any factory adhesive left on the donors, so we're gonna use a Dremel tool to remove all of it and just use cotton balls and acetone to clean it off. Now it's time to apply our adhesive on the rubber sole. So we're gonna apply adhesive on a rubber sole, let it cure for a couple of hours, and then add our second layer to make sure that our rig is stronger. And remember the insoles, check it out. So these are the results after five sessions of my whitening method. We took out all the stains. It's, it's pearly white, you know what I'm saying? It took out all of that stank, all of that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, ooh, damn. You know what I'm saying? It's all that's left. My whitening method is so dope, you better use it like real talk. I just want to point out like this beat has a dope Seba June vibe to it and I really, I really dig it. So back to the restoration, what I'm doing now is removing the varnish that's protecting the paint with cotton balls and acetone. Cause I want to lightly repaint the back heel and um, repaint the black. Especially since that they have a brand new midsole, it's only right to give it that new factory look. So we're gonna tape up the uppers and we're gonna make our own mix for the 1994 black and red paint. So we're gonna use regular red, black, infrared from 2014, and white. That's all we really need. All we need to do is just make sure that the ratio is correct. So those are the colors that I've used. I honestly don't even remember what the ratio is. Um, but luckily I know what colors I did use. So in the future I will be able to replicate the same paint mix. I just need to make sure I write down the ratio. Thank you. 
So right now I'm priming our leather paint with white paint. This is to make sure that um, we cover the existing paint that's on the leather. So when we paint our red, our mixed paint, it won't look spotty, the paint won't look uneven, it won't have any dark circles, dark spaces in some areas. So this will make it more even. Um, our color will be a lot more vibrant. This is the same reason why people prime the walls first before they paint, why they prime their cars before they do a repaint. It's all the same. And now we're gonna touch up our black leather with black paint. And to protect our paint job, we're going to use Quilon Matte Finisher as our varnish. All we have to do now is just restitch the rubber sole back to the uppers. So I'm going to provide a link down in the description below on a tutorial on how to restitch your toe cap. Or just click the link at the top right corner. Okay for the rules Aye. And man I miss my old That I had a few I, I don't know why my Cause acting brand new Phone slapping I've been trapping With that bag dude Bitch Hello 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 Thank you guys for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me seeing those numbers go up. If you guys are not subscribed already, might as well do it right now because hello, like this video is pretty dope and there'll be a lot more dope videos to come. So click that subscribe button. It's right below the red button that says subscribe. Also, if you guys need a discount on rejuvenator cleaning products, use my rep code MANALO, M-A-N-A-L-O. It'll give you 15, 15 percent off on your total order at checkout that's more than tax so use it if you guys have shoes for me to restore my email is down in the description below so hit me up make sure to add the name of the shoe the size of the shoe and your name on the subject title and any detailed photos that you want me to see any of the damages please include everything for me to give you an accurate price quote Again, my email is down in the description below, so please hit me up if you have anything that needs to be restored. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you have not already, subscribe. If you have not already, please give it a like. Thank you and God bless. Peace.